What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Hi, Rich Handyman here. You know who it is. All right, today's a quick video. I had an issue. I don't know. A lot of you uh, handyman, you know, ladies and gentlemen out there, if you're dog owners, uh, you might want to listen to this. I don't know how you feel about it, but this is the way I feel now. I know what you're thinking, insect killer. Oh, it's not safe for the lawn and kids and dogs. It's not. You got to spray this stuff, read the instructions, let it dry, keep the animals and the children off. Me on the safe side, I'll do it at 2 in the afternoon. Nobody's getting on this lawn for at least 24 hours, okay? All right. Getting back to the dogs. Everybody knows Sonny. You've seen him a couple times in the videos, okay? He's got an issue where he's getting a lot of ticks. And I had an issue with my last dog, ended up in the hospital. Thousands of dollars later, we couldn't save the dog. I spoke to one of the top neurologists in the, the Northeast, and I was informed that a lot of the foods and stuff were giving these dogs, chemicals, flea and tick, baths, collars, you name it, is nothing but a problem for these dogs. I know what you're gonna say out there. Oh yeah, it's safe, safe. Read some of the reviews, do some research, okay? No chemical is safe to put in your dog. I know what you're gonna say. I've been doing it for years. Okay, that's fine. I'm not telling you you don't have to. I'm just telling you what I do. Getting back to this stuff, I did some research. Home Depot sells it, okay? I spray the lawn with this. It's supposed to kill all these ticks and bugs. For at least three months, we're gonna give it a shot, okay? Because I don't, yeah, I got my dog the lime shot. I'm going to do this first. I'm going to treat the lawn. Okay. The other reason for this video, I got another deal. Driving by, I saw one of those tag sales. You got people selling anything from a pair of socks to an armoire. Okay. I pull up. I see a lot of stuff that really isn't, uh, it's kind of useless to me. But I see one thing. I'm, and I say to myself, you know what? I don't have one of those for the trailer. It's not heavy duty. It's not probably your best brand. But let me tell you something. Let me show you what we got here, cuz. Bam. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. A little vice. Okay? And better yet, look at this. That's right, kid. Five dollars. I mounted it to the table. Okay? I don't know if you can see it. Pretty heavy duty. Swivels where you're going to lock it in here. Okay? You can swivel this bad boy. If you want to bend something, you got a little tiny anvil right here. Okay? Or you can put something in the vise if you got to grind something or cut something. But not bad for five bucks. So that's it. That is the tool of the week that I picked up for the trailer. And it's probably the cheapest thing I paid for in this trailer just about five bucks so okay remember you're driving around you see a tag sale you're on your way to a job stop by you never know what you might find and if you're giving your dog uh you know the flea bath or you're giving them the uh, collars or you're giving them those treats you know the chewables just read up on it do a little research i mean me i had a bad experience with my last dog and I'm trying to do everything I can to keep this dog as healthy as possible. I know what people are going to say. Yeah, you eat McDonald's. You eat Wendy's. You're going to die of cancer eating that stuff. Yeah, I get it. But I'm trying to do the best I can for Sonny. Okay? All right. Have a good weekend. It's almost over. Enjoy the rest of the day. And we'll catch you on the next one. I got a couple of nice jobs coming up. So stay tuned. They're going to be some good ones. We'll talk to you later.